The foundation of the insane Spanish Cobras dates back to the year 1958, in the streets of Bridgeport on Chicago's south side. In the late 1950s Puerto Rican people began to move into the Bridgeport Homes housing projects located near 31st and Halstead. Bridgeport had a very long history of gangs and gang violence that goes back to at least the 1850s. Bridgeport gangs were predominantly Irish, Italian or Polish since the 19th century. The Irish gangs of Bridgeport and Canaryville were very well known to cause racial conflicts with groups of African Americans from nearby Bronzeville. Bridgeport was the home of the dailies and much of the Chicago machine of politics. Gangs in this neighborhood had been connected to Chicago politics since the beginning which gave them for leeway to flush out any groups they deemed undesirable. By 1958, Bridgeport was filled with greaser gangs that were bad enough to make newspaper headlines and many of them reflected the same prejudicial beliefs as the rest of the community. Bridgeport residents at the time preferred their community to be a white neighborhood and did not take kindly to black or Hispanic people moving into these borders. The local projects were the one area of the neighborhood where black and Hispanic people could possibly move in due to public housing rules. The projects were built during World War II for impoverished white work-time workers but by the late 50s many of those residents had moved out not needing public housing anymore leaving more room for people of color to move in. As the first Puerto Rican people moved into this complex, they were not very welcome to the neighborhood and faced many acts of discrimination not documented in newspapers etc. The gangs of Bridgeport were brutal and in order to stand up to this gang element these Puerto Ricans of the projects needed to form their own group. A group was organized geared toward protecting the Puerto Rican populace of Bridgeport that was called Loco de Quilibro or in translation Crazy Snakes or Insane Snakes in 1958. The group was not large in size and was not a household name used by Bridgeport residents, all they may have noticed was a group of Puerto Rican young men hanging out together and fighting back against greasers as a group. In the year 1960, the group renamed themselves the Spanish Cobras for a reason I am not sure of at this time but could have been because Mexican people were moving into Bridgeport for the first time that year and Cobras perhaps wanted a name that would attract Mexican youths too to fight in their ranks. After this name was born the Spanish Cobras now became a little more known in the Bridgeport community. This was also the time when some more youths joined the group which grew the club just a little larger. The Cobras now had a clubhouse at 3219, South Morgan Street, that they would maintain until the mid-1970s when they left the area. In the year 1969 three brothers nicknamed the Twinkie Brothers moved out of the Bridgeport projects and settled in the East Humboldt Park neighborhood in the area around Maplewood and Potomac slash Campbell. Two of the brothers were named Emilio and Nelson. When the Twinkies arrived, they got involved in neighborhood baseball and played alongside Puerto Rican youths in the neighborhood. In the midst of this the Twinkies taught the youths in the area like Godfather, Wee Wee, Teddy of the Latin Invaders, Jimmy, Hector, Slim, Mr. Mike, the Marty Twins, many of which were part of the Rosado family the ways of Spanish Cobras. These men became the first East Humboldt Park Spanish Cobras that would eventually evolve into the ISCN we know today. Many of these men like Teddy were Latin invaders and the entire Latin invaders gang became Spanish Cobras which basically means Spanish Cobra of Bridgeport concepts were combined with Latin invader concepts, however, the Latin invader's name would vanish. The original colors of the Bridgeport Cobras were black and maroon but when the Cobras came to East Humboldt Park, they changed the colors white and purple. The first piece of turf was at Hirsch and Artesian but that was short-lived before they migrated to Maplewood and Potomac slash Campbell. In the early to mid-1960s Puerto Rican migration began growing in the west town area of the city. Puerto Rican youths were often targeted and bullied by white gangs because they were viewed as outsiders and this caused many Puerto Rican youths to start gangs in the early and mid-60s. One such gang was the Latin Invaders that formed at Campbell and Division in the East Humboldt Park neighborhood. Teddy and his brother Horse were some early members of the Invaders. During the first four years the Spanish Cobras existed in East Humboldt Park they were a very small group of street warriors that weren't very notorious quite yet as other gangs don't recall their existence before 1973 and there was no news articles either from this group before 1973. 
the South Side Cobra Group may have expanded to 46th and Lawler in the Garfield Ridge neighborhood, but by 1974 both Bridgeport and 46th closed down which ended these South Side Cobras until they returned to have some South Side territory in the mid-1980s or later. This group of Midway Area Cobras started in 1971 after the Centurions left the area of Vidim Park. These Cobras were short-lived. By 1973 Richard Medina became a well-known member of the Spanish Cobras and perhaps this is when he began going by the nickname King Cobra. Caballo opened Artesian and Potomac in 1973 and became the leader of that section. Artesian and Lemoyne also opened these two sections called themselves Young Spanish Cobras and in later years Artesian and Potomac Cobras became legendary gunners. A bond developed between Spanish Cobras and Latin Disciples and this led some disciples and cobras to call themselves Almighty back in the early 1970s. The Latin lovers were also Almighty when they formed in 1973 but this all was short-lived after the disciples started Maniac Concepts for their senior members in 1973. In the year 1973, Richard King Cobra Medina was running his own section at Campbell and Potomac. Soon these cobras spread to Haddon and Washtenaw. Then eventually Division and Maplewood down to Maplewood and Potomac as Division and Maplewood became the headquarters. In 1973, Richard Medina became the new leader of this renegade group of Spanish Cobras at the age of 14, his younger brothers Jamie and William also were given rank. At this point in time in the mid-1970s the Spanish Cobras found a new enemy the Insane Unknowns. The Insane Unknowns set up shop at the legendary street corner of Levitt and Schiller in Wicker Park. Even though this corner was the motherland and birthplace of Northside Latin Kings it came under Insane Unknown control by 1971 because many kings there flipped to unknowns and that started a war between IUK and LKs. Anyway, now the Spanish Cobras and Unknowns were at each other's throats. The main reason for the war with the Insane Unknowns was the creation of the Insane Concepts that King Cobra created in 1975 two years after he opened territory in East Humboldt Park slash Wicker Park area. He called these new Cobras the Renegade Cobras when he opened this turf in 1973. In 1975 Medina created the Insane moniker and developed those concepts in the early years. 1975 was also the year Medina developed the black and green colors which became the permanent colors for the whole nation eventually. A short time later the unknowns became known as the insane unknowns and this infuriated Medina. He demanded the IUKs drop the insane from their name, but they refused and that is what started this war between the two. In 1976 Richard King Cobra Medina took over control of all the Spanish Cobras at age 17. Richard immediately reached out to the Latin Disciples Street Gang because he knew the Disciples were having a major problem with the U.F.O. United Five Organization, which was the alliance of white power gangs the C-Notes, Gaylords, Taylor Juicers, Chi West, and PVPs or PVRs that had been going on since 1973 and was growing stronger. There was also the Latin Kings that were really large in size and trying to take over everything. This new unity became known as the Young Latino Organization or YLO. It was during this Capone era during King Cobra's rule that Spanish Cobras expanded further as they now landed in West Humboldt Park in 1976 at Ridgeway and Thomas and Springfield and Hirsch. Back to East Humboldt Park, a new section opened at Fairfield and Lemoyne and Evergreen and Washtenaw. The Evergreen Hustlers were at Evergreen and Washtenaw and flipped to Cobras at this later part of the 1970s. In 1978 YLO opened its doors to the Imperial Gangsters and Latin Eagles to create the United Latino Organization or ULO. In April, 1978 Larry Hoover, the leader of the Black Gangster Disciple Nation created the Folk Nation Alliance behind prison walls. His goal was to immediately unite the BGDs and Black Disciples and to also unite with Latino and white gangs. The Spanish Cobras were one of the Latino gangs that were asked to join the Folk Nation along with some other allies like the Imperial Gangsters, Latin Eagles, Orquestra Albany and the Latin Disciples. The Spanish Cobras were also allied with the Simon City Royals and the Almighty Insane Popes. In 